Whilst the legal profession has come a considerable way in terms of diversity, there is still undeniably considerable work that needs to be done. But how far the apprenticeship can help achieve this exactly is something which I am sceptical of. It is true that the increase of tuition fees will inevitably have a negative effect on social mobility, which will almost certainly result in fewer students from poorer backgrounds going to university. It is also true that there are many and numerous practical and commercial benefits of the apprenticeship for both the apprentice and for the business. However, while such schemes may be successful at perhaps small institutions, I submit that we should be careful in looking to the apprenticeship as a one-size-fits-all policy for the legal profession as a whole. Personally, I see studying and indeed practicing the law as being about much more than just the technical skills that are needed to work in a particular practice area. It is, or at the very least it should be, about the ethics, the principles, and the fundamental concepts of the law understood and appreciated through its academic study. We should be careful to blow that door to the legal profession wide open, or indeed open a new and separate door for the apprentice. Diversity for the sake of diversity can be a good thing, insofar as it doesn't undermine and inhibit the gold standard and stellar reputation the British legal system has. We are asking the right questions, but the answer does not lie solely with the apprenticeships. What about those who want to go to university and have the ability to do so, but are denied because of social factors?